Hey there, in this video, we're going to show you a quick demonstration of the add on called Show Hide on Previous Products. And uh, so, as the name implies, what this add on does is it allows you to show or hide uh, products on an OTO page based on what was purchased on the previous order form. Uh, so, for example, when you're inside of a, an OTO page here in our ClickFunnels editor, and we have two offers on this page, we've got a two more audiobooks. And then we've got an all three audiobooks offer, and they're different price points. Um, this one actually would be 37, and I don't have the price right on this one. This one would be 74. So this one is a hey, do you, you already bought the audiobook on the order form? So do you want to get the two other audiobooks for just $37? Or if they didn't buy the audiobook on the order form, then do you want to get all three audiobooks so it offers what they missed on the order form uh, and adds them, adds an extra option, and you can get all three for just $74. So this this uh, basically allows you to have the logic that says, hey, I'm going to offer a, uh, an order bump on the order form page. And then if they don't take the bump, I want to show them one offer. If they do take the bump, I want to show them a different offer offer and uh, we'll walk through a quick demonstration to show you how that works here uh, in just a second so uh, that's what this add-on does let's jump in and show you what this looks like uh, going through the order form process onto the OTO so just so you can see though we have two different offers here um, and that's what we see in our editor so now let's go to our order form and actually place an order uh, so let's go ahead and click yes I want to reserve my copy we are on the order form page for this funnel where we have the OTO page so we're going to go ahead and fill this in and um, we are going to just put in some dummy data here so we can get to step two. And now on step two, we can put in a credit card number. And then on this one, we can go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip adding the bump so we have a bump here for the audiobook and we're not going to take the bump on this one so we'll go ahead and click complete order and it'll take just a second and now we're on our oto page now remember we didn't take the bump so now let's scroll and see what our offers are and now we have our core offer and our hey do you want to get all three audiobooks that's the only bump we see for this OTO, and that's because we didn't take the audiobook bump on the order form, so we're gonna offer it now on this one because they don't already have the one audiobook option. Um, so now let's go ahead and go back to our order form, and we're gonna go ahead and close this out, and I'm gonna go ahead and open that again in a new incognito window. So we get a fresh session here and let's go through it and actually place an order that where we do take the bump and we'll see what the difference is. And we're just gonna throw in some bogus data. We're gonna throw in a credit card number. And this time we're gonna go ahead and add the bump now the bump is added, so now we've got our audiobook bump. Now let's go ahead and click complete order. And now it's gonna take us to our OTO page and let's see how our offer changes. Uh, so now if we scroll down on our offer, now we can see we get only the, hey, do you wanna add two more audiobooks? You already took the audiobook in the order form. Do you wanna add two more audiobooks for just 37 bucks? And so that is what we see different about how this offer works. That is the show hide on previous products so it basically gives us the ability to have dependent offers based on what was ordered uh, offered and purchased on the order form so hopefully that makes sense and uh, hopefully you like this one hopefully you put it to good use